Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got my brand new Hikoki wet and dry uh, cordless vacuum cleaner or you could call it a dust buster because it's not really a full size vacuum cleaner but um, here is the unit that comes in the box and it's a fairly sturdy um, sturdily built unit which is what you want for a, for a site vacuum cleaner the on and off button there um, and there's where you fit your slide connect battery which will work with any of the current Hikoki or Hitachi batteries um, and you just pull that clip and slip the front piece off and there's a wee filter in there and you can empty the empty the dust out of the out of the uh, catchment area so that's nice and easy um, and it just fits back together Two little tabs at the bottom and then push that in again and it clicks into place like that and so it also comes with some attachments in the box um, this one here is just like a little extender nozzle to get into I guess little tight crevices and stuff like that um, so it could be handy probably not for the majority of what you're going to use it for but uh, it could be handy getting into wee corners um, that just slots in like that, like a friction fit. So that's the first attachment that comes with it. The second attachment um, has like a little, almost like a little squeegee type um, fitting there. Because this is a wet and dry vacuum cleaner, I guess that's for squeegeeing water and sucking it up. Um, once again, it's just a friction fit, the same way as the other one did. Um, and the last tool that comes with it is like a wee brush tool um, and you would assume that that's for sort of uh, freeing stuff on carpets and stuff like that um, to suck it up um, and it also comes with an instruction book which probably isn't that necessary for a vacuum cleaner with an, just an on off switch and that's it um, and of course the warranty documentation um, so you just register that on their website and you're you're good to go um, so I've got the battery with me here um, and that's just a an older Hitachi 4 amp hour battery um, and that fits quite snugly like that it's not loose or anything um, and you're basically away but um, if you want to make it a wee bit lighter then you could go with a smaller battery like a, a little uh, 3 amp hour ones now are quite small and light so that could be a good option um, yeah that's basically the gist of it um, hope you've enjoyed the video hit like hit subscribe and we'll see you next time